Hey, how are you? In today's tutorial, you are going to learn how to paint this dot snowflake design on an ornament. I noticed it's been increasingly difficult to find paints, and I'm always trying to think of ways to make life a little easier for you. So I'm going to start offering some of my tutorials as paint kits. It's one less thing you have to worry about. The paint kits will include everything you need to follow along with me. And you can always refer back to my tutorials as well. This particular paint kit will come with the paints. It'll come with three ornaments and it will come with a little guideline stencil as well. And then there's always add-ons and stuff if you want to add on. If you need the tools or whatever, you'll get them at a, um, a different rate than you would if you were just buying them by themselves. So check out the Dot Art Depot for details. Now these are the three paints that I'm going to be showing you in this lesson, but stay tuned until the end of this video to see some other fun color combos that work really great for this design as well. So you just want to start off by popping out the top of your ornament. Now this has a little springy thingy. I don't know what it's properly called, <laughs> but it just pops right out and then you can squeeze the two little prongs together and push it back in. No problem at all. Now I'm showing you the paint that um, I will be sending out in the kits and one little container is just enough paint to coat the whole inside of the ornament. I am using all DecoArt multi-surface satin acrylic paints and this beautiful red is called lipstick. And what you do is you just you put the paint inside and then you're just going to tap it around. Now the reason I got a um, rag out is to actually tap the ornament on because if you tap it on like a table it can scuff up your ornament, the plastic, and then it won't be all pretty and shiny. I had to learn the hard way so I do recommend you tapping it on a towel just to coat all the sides but it may take a little bit of work but you'll get there and it will be coated. Um, and then I'm using my center finder to find the center of the ornament um, and I think you probably could do that with just this stencil but just in case I was going to go ahead and play it safe and use the center finder. And then this is just a six slice stencil. It's real small. It fits the ornament perfectly. And I'm drawing it on with a slate chalk stick. You could also use a dry erase marker and that would work just as well. I did lay it on to where it's the X of the the six lines. It's like an X. It's going towards the top. But you could lay it up the other way if you wanted to where it was going straight up and down. It's up to you, however you want to do it. The paint for the design that I'm going to be using is called Cotton Ball and I'm using the pink tool. Now this is an acrylic rod that I have available in a set of 12 different sizes in the Dot Art Depot and I just colored mine to match up with my old sets so that everyone can follow along with my tutorials. You make one dot right in the center and then you just put six dots right around the center and just as close as you can get them and they fit just perfectly. And the next tool is the black tool. It's the very smallest tool in the set. And I'm going to make five dots going straight out on one of the spokes. And when you reach the last dot there, you're going to switch over to the size one nail stylus. Now that is the very smallest ball stylus tool that I have. And you just want to dip it in a little bit of paint and then stick it right in the middle of that last dot there, that fifth dot and then just pull straight out. And I only pull once because if you try to drag that swipe out one more time, it's going to be a completely different look and swipe. It's going to be a lot thicker. And that could be something that you could practice on the side before you jump into the project. Um, it's always good to get some practice before you jump in. Now I am going to place one dot right in between each of the spokes all the way around. So there's six dots and I'm going to pull them straight out and they're going to be little swipes going out. I show in my paint consistency slash practice guide video that I will link right up here in the corner. Um, I show how you can practice on a ceramic plate and it's the perfect thing to practice on because you can just clean it right up with a rag and then just reuse it for the next thing that you need to practice. Love it. All right, so we're going to make two dots right next to the little swipe. So it's right in between the last two dots there on each little spoke and you're going to just make a dot on either side and then pull it 
kind of out like an A, an A shape. You don't want to go too wide, you don't want to go too narrow, because you're going to be placing dots inside and on the outside as well, above it. So you're going to want some room. And you'll see how I go about here in just a second. And then we're going to go back with the size one nail stylus, so really teeny tiny one. And you're going to count two dots down from the center dot there. Well, two dots down from the larger dot. And then I just make five dots going out. And I go at the same angle as the swipes below it. And then we're going to do the same five little dots right in between the little A's at the tips. And I just want to say real quick that I hope you are all doing well, and I hope that you're taking care of yourselves and taking care of each other. And I love you all so much, and thank you so much for being here. And thank you so much for watching this tutorial, and I hope that it can bring you some, you know, 10 minutes of relaxation and not really thinking about anything else except for watching the dots. All right, so you do want to make sure that your design is completely dry before you go ahead with the top dots. I am going to top dot with a color called Deco Art Extreme Sheen Metallics, and this one is called Pearl. And I'm just going to be placing a dot with just a smaller tool on each of the dots. So not on the swipes, but just on the dots. Well, on the dot part of the swipe also, but the dots. <laughs> um, anyway, I think this is the perfect touch because it really adds some some glitz and some glam and it's beautiful and shimmery and I just love this paint. And when you pick it up and you tilt it around, you can see the light reflecting off of the paint. And I thought it was just a really nice touch. So go ahead and replace the um, springy thingy into the top of the ornament and then I wanted to add a little bit of a border on the you know the seam or the edge of the ornament so I'm going to be placing dots right along the seam there using that same pink tool so we're really only using three tools for this whole design which is very cool um, and I just place them right next to each other as close as you can get them without touching. And hey, if they touch, it's not a big deal. You can clean it up with a damp cotton swab um, or just leave it because it's really not that big of a deal. And no one's going to point it out and be like, oh, look, they ran. You know, It's a hand-painted item and it's absolutely going to be beautiful. I guarantee it. Now, I did let that dry. Um, and I did want to let you know that the larger dots there was with the Extreme Sheen, the pearl. And now I'm going to go back with the black tool and I'm going to be going with just the white paint. And I'm going to place a dot right in between each of the larger dots, all the way on that whole little spine there. And you could go out a little further if you wanted, but I did stop here. It's just where I was like, alright, I think this one's done. Now I did paint the design on the back as well, but that's optional, it's up to you. And then I added a little bit of some silky white ribbon, just cut it at an angle on the ends. And then you could tie it up in a knot however you would like to do it. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial, I hope you loved it. And if you did love it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, I would love to have you as a subscriber. Thanks so much for watching, and see you real soon. Bye now. I almost forgot to mention, visit the Deco Art Facebook page and you can paint this design with me live coming up real soon. Find me on social media to get all the details, the times, and the dates. See you there. Bye now.